Good morning, welcome to Ruth Gray All Things Gardening. Today we're going to discuss white scale. White scale, as you can see here on this aloe, is a true bug and if it is not rectified, the problem can get out of control and can kill your plants. Aloes are not the only plants that suffer from white scale. White scale will attack any kind of plant that it chooses. Scale insects are usually off-white, however they can be tan or brown in colour. Most of them, as you can see here on this particular leaf, have a flat covering that can look cotton and fluffy. As you can see, these adults cannot move. However, the young scale insects, often known as crawlers, can move. They do have legs, however, they are usually moved around by the wind. From there, they attach themselves to a part of the leaf. They pierce the leaf and they start to suck the sap. Eventually, they will lose their legs change their colour and turn to an off-white as we see here. Scale can survive throughout the winter on the plant. Once the weather warms up and the climate changes, the humidity comes in, that is when they start to reproduce. One of the reasons why you need to deal with scale is that it leads to other problems with insects coming in. Scale can produce a honeydew. The honeydew then attracts the aphids. The aphids then take the honeydew which they then spread around which can cause a sooty mold. Methods in which you can remove the scale. One is by good old-fashioned elbow grease. As you see here we have the scale, I have a cloth, there is nothing on my cloth. When I remove the scale like this I rub it. You can see there this area here is where their scales attach themselves to the plants. You can see it's brown. It will stay brown, but eventually it will grow out with the leaf. So if I just carry on, I can remove them. If you want to use biological control, a prey mantis or a ladybug can be placed onto these aloes or your plant that is infected they will then eat the scale, therefore removing them naturally. If you would like to remove the scale organically, you can use water, a little bit of washing up liquid, a few drops of oil, and if you prefer, a few drops of garlic oil, all mixed in together. You would then spray the area that is infected with the soft scale or the scale every four days. This will eventually die off. The water and the oil spread over. The garlic taints the plant, so when the insect pierces into the epidermis, it doesn't like the taste, therefore it does not stay. Our other method of control is chemical. So we're now going to mix our chemical and I'll show you how to apply it on. Because I'm using an organophosphate chemical, I need to make sure I have my safety gear on. So I have my rubber gloves, I have my respirator, and I have my goggles. So let's get ready. Please make sure you always read the label carefully on your chemical application. For the particular chemical I've just used, I'm using one teaspoon of the powder into a 16 litre knapsack. By giving it a good shake, I'm agitating the water, therefore I'm helping it to dissolve in. For the application of this product, you will see that I'm going to spray not only the top of the leaf and down into the leaf, but I'm also going to spray underneath the leaf as well. I am going to drench this chemical. By drenching, it will then run off the aloe. Therefore, I know I have applied enough. Please make sure you always read the label carefully on your chemical application and always wear your safety gear. If you've enjoyed today's tutorial, please subscribe, tag the bell, and we'll see you next time. Till then, goodbye.